matter what you do or where you go in life. You're always going to have these weird people, bro. That watch everywhere you go. They watch everything you do. And it's not something that's going to stop. There's just those people who feel the need to toxically attach themselves to your life. And they will never let you off the hook and just let you be free. You can seek freedom, but their goal and their mission is to make you feel uncomfortable as hell. And they'll do anything to make that happen. They don't want you in your zone. They don't want you in your flow state. Because they're scared of your success. They have to say certain things to get in your head. To stop you. To make you overthink. To fill you up with anxiety. To do whatever they can do. To get you out of your flow state. And yes. They're watching you. But you are divinely protected. Even when you don't feel like it, you are. Even when I never felt like it, I was. Sometimes you feel like the whole world is against you and that's not reality. It just feels like that sometimes when things are so hefty, things are so toxic. You just don't feel like you got really anybody on your side. People's kind of against you. People's kind of hating. Kind of, right? And that's why I'm saying, like, these folks are forever going to watch you. They're forever going to tie themselves to your life. Because they can't help it. You're trying to move on with yourself. You're trying to move on with your life. You're trying to do better. You're trying to get to better destinations, better places to be better all around the board. And they just have to come in and do what they do. If you're lucky enough, You'll reach certain points where some of these people may fall off, but even if they do, it's like more comes. More people's going to come. And it's just a, a, a cycle, a repeating cycle of it's just something else sent by the devil, bro. Somebody else comes. Someone else falls off, somebody else comes. So. Are they really ever going to stop watching you now? Because there's always going to be some dickhead trying to make you feel uncomfortable, trying to take you down, trying to take you out. Pretty much always. <clears throat> People love doing shit like that, that don't have anything going on at the moment with their own selves. They love to come your way and Do anything they can. It's even on the internet, bro. It's 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 hard to go live because there's so many idiots. Just bad vibes. People just want to come in and just say something toxic, say something negative. Lie completely, blatantly, right to your face for everybody else to see.
there's just always somebody there. There's always those tests. The world's toxic, bro. And you know what the world is? The internet. The internet is hella toxic. That's the world for you. That's the world for you. You see what goes on on the internet. It's madness. There's even a reason, bro. <clears throat> I did YouTube for years and years and years without going live once. Because dealing with people is a hassle. It's a pleasure to see certain folks on lives. But these imbeciles have to come in and ruin it for everybody else. And that's their mission. And the point is, there's just always something. I'm just using this as an example, but there's always something that comes your way. Whether it be haters in real life, haters from your hometown, haters on the internet, they're, they're, they're all over the place. And that's because you're doing something special with your life. Otherwise, that stuff don't exist. If you're not, if you're not somebody, if you're not doing something, people ain't even going to care. They're not going to look at you. They're not going to take the time to stop by to tell you how they feel about you. It's like, no, they won't even look at you. They'll just, you'll just have a peaceful life and keep going on about yourself, but... If you're doing something important, you will have these watchers, you'll have these stalkers, these gang bangers, <laughs> gang stalkers. <clears throat> you will be a target individual. And people think that stuff is like not real. And, you know, if you don't think that stuff is real, you've never experienced it. You're probably a nobody. You probably never had people that ever really cared about your relevance because you are irrelevant. But for anyone that's relevant, you will experience this kind of stuff, whether it's in large quantities or very small quantities. You could be a person in your own household and your own family is attacking you, maybe nobody else but your own family. That's enough to have experience with this kind of stuff. You might be the golden child. You might be the one that's doing the damn thing. You might be the one that's breaking generational curses and it's like the people around you know that. And they're gonna give you that type of energy and that type of hate and you're gonna have that experience. But if you're not doing anything important, you will not know what I'm talking about. And that's a fact. But just know, bro, <clears throat> if you're doing anything important, you'll be watched. You'll be stopped. And it's repetitive. Because even if some people fall off, like I said, there's more coming right around the corner. stop and the thing is if you're strong enough to even get to those points where these types of things happen you're strong enough to pull it through and keep going on your journey on your path on your purpose and nothing is ever going to be powerful enough <coughs> to take you out you will continue on your journey on your path to the highs to the lows, you will have your success. You will raise gold. And these nerds and versions are going to keep trying to fluster you and do all sorts of crazy stuff, but there you are, continuing on your path, on your purpose, being greater every day. There's the people that go after stuff in life and there's the people that 
are going to try to stop you from doing that because they can't do it. I suggest become the person that's about something, that's going to put yourself into something and make something happen for yourself. Don't be a hater. Don't be a toxic watcher. You're going to get yourself nowhere being that type of person. Surround yourself and your mind with positivity with, with people that's going to uplift your soul to the next stages of life. People who you can resonate with. People who's about that life. And try your hardest to avoid these stalking individuals. A lot of these people are going to try to pick conversations with you too, bro. And it's toxic. Every single time it's happening, you know what's going on. And you just got to outwit them and outsmart them. They'll ask you the stupidest questions on earth, being nosy as hell. And you just have to see what's going on and be able to kind of maneuver around those snakes. Don't even let them know that you know. Just keep pushing it. But like I said, man, This is a repetitive thing and it's a very weird thing. But it will continue to happen throughout your life. New people come, new people go, and, or new people come, old people go, and it's repetitive. I'm telling you, bro, it's repetitive. You can even shake off a lot of your hometown people that was hating on you and somebody else will come <clears throat> around the corner could be on the internet, could be anywhere, could be some other people in real life, could be anywhere. But there's a lot of weird ass people in this world, bro. Weird ass people. And all they can do is stock the shit out of your life. And just say the craziest stuff. Try to get in your mind, try to get your time, try to get your attention, try to just be the weirdest person alive and they have nothing good to say really but these folks are to be avoided to be blocked because they stock the amount of people I block bro Unbelievable. And it will continue to happen. People just gotta be weird about shit, bro. Try to fluster you and get you off your square. So, do they belong in your life? Absolutely not. Number one bullshit. Distractions, toxicity. You don't need that in your life. You don't need that in your life. And I'm looking forward to the future, bro. I'm looking forward to the next moves. They'll be watching, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. They'll be watching. They'll have lots to say, too. They'll keep track with you your entire life. Not in a good way, either. Because they don't ride with you like that. They're low-key haters. They're lurkers. They never want to give you an ounce of respect, no credit. They're just lurkers. Watchers. Stalkers. Gossipers. And we just got to handle these folks the best way possible. Handle them all differently. Every situation is different. 
That's what I like to do. Cook them up in a stew. Supper is served. Their whole mission is to stop you, bro. It's to make you feel uncomfortable. It's to say ridiculous things. And it's up to you to move past that shit on your pursuit to the places you're going. People are so quick to judge. People are so quick to throw you up under the bus and they have no idea. They have no idea who you are. They have no idea what's coming. They really don't. They're clueless. It's the same types of things as when you make certain things happen and you shock these people time after time after time. It's just gonna be more of that. It's just gonna be more of you of shocking these fools. It's one of the better feelings on earth. We always see ahead. Us higher achievers. Us ambitious people. We can always see ahead. We always know what's destined for ourselves. We can always see what's to come. But nobody else can. And they tend not to listen. They tend to talk too quick. They tend to say things about us that's not true. And all of a sudden, boom, we pursue, we persist. And they're shocked, oh, how'd they do that? Overnight success, how'd they do that? Because they didn't see all the work. Point of the story here, they can watch all they want. They can't see it all, can they?